we want to say, for instance, uh, what websites do you visit and give us your passwords so that we can see what they do on the Internet. Is that not what the Biden administration is doing right now? Trying to put hands on our internet activities? Yeah, but Trump was only talking about foreigners, not U.S. citizens, is what some clown who resides on planet Trump time just told themselves. So important, the Second Amendment, we have to preserve it and cherish it, and we can't let these weak leaders diminish it. If they had guns in Paris, if five people in that room, Paris and France has probably the toughest gun laws anywhere in the world. And it was like target practice. Come over here, boom. Come over here, boom. People are sitting by the hundreds, and many others are going to be dying. They're sitting in a hospital, in many cases, waiting to die. Now, same thing a few days ago. In California, no guns. We didn't have guns. The bad guys had the guns. And these young people, and I tell the press, you got to stop calling them masterminds. These are, these are dirty, rotten scum. These aren't masterminds. Remember the guy in Paris with the big, dirty hat? Remember the guy in Paris, the mastermind, I was watching all the network, I won't mention who, but some of them disgusted me. The mastermind is on the loose. The master, and we have kids that are watching the internet, and they want to be masterminds. And then you wonder, why do we lose all these kids? They go over there, they're young, they're impressionable. They go over, they want to join ISIS. And we have our anchors, I think I got them mostly stopped. Did you notice that? I don't hear it too much. But they say, the young mastermind, oh, he's, Brilliant, young man, he's brilliant. I don't even think he's got a high IQ. I call him, in Paris, I called him the guy with the dirty, filthy hat, okay? Not a smart guy, a dummy. Puts people in there, a mastermind. Bing, 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 they start shooting everybody. You gotta be a mastermind. So the press has to be responsible. They're not being responsible. Because we're losing a lot of people because of the internet. And we have to do something. We have to go see Bill Gates and a lot of different people that really understand what's happening. We have to talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. Somebody will say, oh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. These are foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We've got to maybe do something with the internet because they are recruiting by the thousands. They're leaving our country. The patriot right there the leader of the ones who've been running around under the impression for some reason thinking that they're patriots said we need help from Bill I want to exterminate the majority of the earth's population gates and under the guise of what a terrorist same as they all say laws to protect us from harm and laws that only target criminals like they're using these school shootings and shootings in other places these days to intrude on our internet activities, but that's your patriot though. Some of you may remember a video I did a while back. Let me play you a clip from that same video from a while back. Want to turn to politics and Donald Trump at the center of a diplomatic controversy. The president-elect turning decades of protocol upside down with his 10-minute phone call with Taiwan. The reaction pouring in, including from China. Needless to say, Beijing is not happy. The latest on the phone flap from ABC's David Wright.
复杂变化。我国发展仍处于重要战略机遇期，前景十分光明，挑战也十分严峻。全党同志，一定要登高望远，居安思危，勇于变革，勇于创新，永不僵化，永不停滞。体现一个中国原则的“九二共识”，我们坚决维护国家主权和领土完整。绝不容忍国家分裂的历史悲剧重演，一切分裂祖国的活动都必将遭到全体中国人的坚决反对。我们有坚定的意志、充分的信心、足够的能力，挫败任何形式的台独分裂图谋。我们绝不允许任何人。任何组织、任何政党，在任何时候、以任何形式，把任何一块中国领土从中国分裂出去。China's air force has conducted island encirclement patrols near Taiwan, its military said, after a senior Chinese diplomat threatened that China would invade the self-ruled island if any U.S. warships made port visits there. China considers Taiwan to be a wayward province and has never announced the use of force to bring it under its control. Numerous Chinese fighter jets, bombers and surveillance aircraft conducted routine and planned distant sea patrols on Monday to safeguard national sovereignty and territorial integrity, Air Force spokesman Shen Jing said on the military branch's microblog. H-6K bombers, Su-30 and J-11 fighter jets, and surveillance, alert and refueling aircraft flew over the Marco Strait in Japan's south and the Basu Channel between Taiwan and the Philippines to test real combat capabilities, Shen said. That was five years ago, give or take a few months. What was China responding to? Well, Trump, who... You know, I'd say within 72 hours of him being in the White House, he makes a phone call to Taiwan. And what was China's response? Told Taiwan, let us catch you on the phone talking to somebody again and see what happened. When you want to talk, you need somebody to talk to, you talk to us. That was their response. But from right-wing Republican conservatives, especially the ones who be saying, I'm not part of the left-right paradigm, it was, shh. They had nothing to say. But the DNC, Biden and Nancy makes calls. Republicans are like, oh my God, the DNC are trying to start World War III. They skip presidencies. And as I go on, I'll show you what I mean by skip presidencies. Unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today. I am officially declaring a national emergency. Two very big words. The action I am taking will open up access to up to $50 billion of very importantly, very important and a large amount of money for states and territories and localities in our shared fight against this disease. In furtherance of the order, I'm urging every state to set up emergency operation centers effective immediately. You're going to be hearing from some of the uh, largest companies and greatest retailers and uh, medical companies in the world. They're standing right behind me and inside of me. I'm also asking every hospital in this country to activate its emergency preparedness plan so that they can meet the needs of Americans everywhere. The hospitals are very engaged. The emergency orders I'm issuing today will also confer broad new authority to the Secretary of Health and Human Services. The Secretary of HHS will be able to immediately waive provisions of applicable laws and regulations to give doctors, hospital, all hospitals, and healthcare providers maximum flexibility to respond to the virus 
and care for patients. Yeah, that right there. Let me start off with something that everybody knows, because I'm going to be talking about the people who know this as well, but they want other people to not know what everybody knows. What are you doing, man? You're speaking in riddles and parables. Okay, what I'm saying, what I'm about to say is, everybody knows that the sitting president, the newly elected president, and you know what, not just the president, it's, it's mayors, the new governor, the new senator, school superintendent, uh, city councilman, or whoever, the poor unlucky soul is, gets to inherit all of that city, state, or nation's problems. They get blamed for it all. Even the new Supreme Court justices inherit stacks and stacks of cases piled a mild high. But Trumpians pretend to not know this just so to ensure that Trump's constituents' anxiety isn't ignited. Trump cult members for five years straight have excused and explained away everything that he does wrong. There's a video on here I did somewhere. It's on here somewhere. I think Biden was months away from being sworn in as president. And I talked about how Trump toys were already blaming Biden for the bug being let out of Wuhan. Or, you know, as they say, it came out of there, as the, you know, as the story goes. But already blaming a man who probably hadn't even been inside the White House since Obama left in 2016. These conservative right-winger Republicans... Even the ones who say, I'm not part of the left-right paradigm, I'm not a Republican or conservative. Even those Republicans who keep saying that they're not Republicans, I guess, you know, I don't know, maybe because their name isn't signed up as a Republican or something, I don't know. Or maybe they're just uh, uh, cheerleaders then. Okay, you know, you're not actually on the team, you just uh, want, you just want Republicans to win. You're... You're here for their moral support. Gable, Gable, he's our man. If he can't do it, Burke can. Burke, Burke, he's our man. If he can't do it, Ogre can. Give me an A! A! Give me a D! D! Give me an A! A! Okay, whatever. But these people, whenever they're describing whatever ill is going on in America, they'll always skip presidencies like the subject of immigration, illegal or otherwise. Even when they're speaking from a past standpoint, they'll cite Clinton, Obama, Carter, Kennedy, or whatever, just as long as it's a Democrat. No mention of Republican presidents, no matter what the long historical problem has been, no Republican will be cited. And not just with immigration, the problem with uh, uh, NAFTA, health care, wars, or whatever. It's always the Democrats did it. Now, I listened to somebody the other day, and I did a video about this a month or two ago. This guy, and he's not the only one, but this guy said Biden sold us out to the World Health Organization. He said he signed over America's sovereignty to foreign entities. Even though Trump already did that in March 2020. The clip I played in the beginning. That part right there. What did Trump do in March 2020, and what is uh, Biden doing these days? Here's what happened. I'm gonna shoot you so bad, my dick's hard. Coming through, excuse me. Trump loads the gun, hands it to Biden. Biden pulls the trigger. Does this guy know this? Yes, of course he does. The one, the one whose video I'm talking about that I saw the other day, of course he knows it. But Trump is a Republican, so you gotta wait till the Democrat in there to blame the president. I'll put the link to it in the description box what Trump did in March 2020. Same thing with the gain of functions. Oh, and whoever don't know, gain of functions is where, the gain of function is where mad scientists create superbugs at. But they'll only talk about Fauci. Why? So no one pays attention to Trump and Kushner's involvement and bankroll in the whole thing. And not by themselves, of course. Numerous powers were involved. But Fauci did it, Fauci did it, Fauci did it. These people, you know the kind that be saying, I'm not part of the left-right paradigm. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. But every about 97.5% of every position they stand on just so happens to be likened to a Republican. These people only understand things when it's misinformation and disinformation. But in its infantile stages, when misinformation and disinformation's name was fake news, they'll pretend that they didn't hear it. Remember? The fake news guy. Remember him? 
calling everything fake news. Do you remember him? No, of course you don't remember him. You only remember Obama. Just as they'll describe January 6th as this. Rioters stream through the now open main doors on the east side of the building. They flood through the rotunda and into statuary hall, moving toward the house chamber, where as of 226, representatives have resumed session. Never mind what happened before that, no. And we're going to the Capitol. We're tr going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. On January 6th, hundreds of Trump supporters stormed the Capitol complex. The insurrection was the worst breach of Capitol security since the War of 1812. The siege led to widespread vandalism. More than 50 police officers were injured and five people died. The Washington Post examined hundreds of videos. At that moment, one floor below the Senate chamber, rioters enter and begin pursuing a lone Capitol Police officer, Eugene Goodman, up a staircase to the second floor. They are nearing the chamber, which is filled with lawmakers. As the last lawmakers from the House floor leave at 2.42 p.m., the number of rioters grows around the House chamber. Officers move aside as a tactical unit is arriving, but the mob starts smashing the windows with flagpoles and helmets. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has already been evacuated. At 2.19, Capitol Police issue an alert on a, quote, security threat inside the building. By 2.25, the size of the mob swells in the crypt, the room right under the Capitol Rotunda, and violent rioters crush the police. At the same time, on the floor above, Another lone Capitol Police officer fights to keep an entrance to the rotunda closed, but is overpowered by the mob. Rioters stream through the now open main doors on the east side of the building. They flood through the rotunda and into statuary hall moving toward the House chamber, where as of 2.26, representatives have resumed session. No, just describe it as they were let in. Yes, go ahead, Mike. Well, in the category, uh, you, you spoke about it, Mr. President, gun violence restraining orders. Uh, they're called, California actually has a version of this. And uh, I think you, in your meeting with governors earlier this week, individually and and as a group, we spoke about um, about states taking steps, but the focus is to literally give families and give local law enforcement additional tools if an individual is reported to be a, a potential danger to themselves or others. And allow due process so that no one's rights are trampled, but, but the ability to go to court, obtain an order, and then collect not only the firearms, but any, any weapons in the position or of that might take the firearms first and then go to court because that's another system because a lot of times by the time you go to court it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures uh, i like taking the guns early like in this crazy man's case that just took place in florida he had a lot of fires they saw everything to go to court would have taken a long time so you could do exactly what you're saying but take the guns first go through due process second didn't know about these red flag laws to disarm citizens stuff till Obama was in office, huh? Forgot about it when Trump was in office, then had your memory refreshed when Biden got in there, right? You would have to believe that the DNC is, is like Galactus.
galactus the devourer of planets and galaxies to believe that what you see going on here and globally is being done by democrats or the left the global left what do i mean by that all that's been going on has been so while republicans have been present you would have to believe that republicans are competent and inept or are just these little darling angels that have played no part in any of this. Because what could be going on in a person's head where they think that the country's problems have been going on without Republicans being in on it? You would have to believe, I'm serious, you would have to believe that the DNC is the almighty, omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, to believe that all these problems, no matter which problem it is, immigration, crime rates, economy, the bug and the cure, or whatever else, is because of Democrats or as some global left. If some clown listening to this video just said to themselves, well, we're not saying that Republicans are perfect. That's what some fool, excuse me, clown, some clown just told themselves that, well, I don't agree with everything Trump says. and That's what some clown just said. Do you know that it would defy the laws of physics for Democrats to be responsible for all of this without the Republicans' help? It would defy the laws of physics, uh, God's law, natural law, nature's law. It, I, I don't know. It defied, some law is being defied. That's all I know. After this video, I'm going to do, I might do a video uh, explaining, you know, giving a reason or two why I do these videos about these people who say, uh, I'm not part of the left-right paradigm. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. But damn near everything that comes out of their mouth would be the same thing that would come out of the mouth of a stomp down, die hard, simplified, do or die Republican. But I'm not on the left or the right. But anyway, when Trump first got in there, the ones who've been listening to me for a long while, remember the second or third video I ever did about him? Before he was, before he even became president, while he was running, what did I say? Everybody coming into Atlantic City sees that property, and it's not fair to Atlantic City and the people. They're staring at this terrible house instead of staring at beautiful fountains and beautiful other things that would be good. You're bullying these people out because I'm not, they're. Excuse me, that's wrong. But for but, you to use the word bully, John, is very unfair. In life, you have a thing called condemnation, and cities have the right to condemn for the good of a city, whether it's New York, whether it's Los Angeles, whether it's any other place. Atlantic City is one of those cities, and it's got the right to condemn. In the 1990s, Donald Trump was behind an outrageous case of eminent domain abuse. Vera Koking was an elderly widow who lived for decades in her home beside Atlantic City's boardwalk. She loved that home. And Donald Trump wanted Vera's home so he could put in limousine parking for his casino across the street. This is a government case. This is not Donald Trump. Yes, it's Donald Trump. It's you and your cronies in government working together. For you to call these people cronies is very unfair. To be calling good public servants cronies. An unaccountable state agency tried to condemn Vera Koking's property and transfer it to Donald Trump he convinced the government officials to use their eminent domain power to take Vera's home. This was public power, but used for private gain. I said a man who would use eminent domain against a regular everyday citizen for his own personal gain is not somebody you should want as a president. And he tried that with more than one person. A dude who would use eminent domain is the same one that got you thinking that he's a patriot that wants Americans to be free. But I get the game. I don't want nobody to think that I just got here. I'm not new here at all. I full well understand how whichever side uh, will pretend that the other side is the problem. I get it. Like Taiwan. Taiwan just so happens to be the same country that Trump called. Just as the Ukraine just so happens to be the country Trump was nearly impeached behind. And just so happens to be at war right now with the one who just so happens to be the one suspected of being Trump's buddy. 
All coincidences is what right paradigm people tell themselves. But like I said, maybe in the next video I'll give an example of what concerns me about the people who pretend to not be part of the left-right paradigm. Right? And again, again I do understand the uh, silliness of the merry-go-round with us in the left-right, red-blue paradigm thing. I get it. I know what it looks like, too.